Mom? I have not been able to bring my boyfriend over because you have not gone to work and you agreed that I can bring him over when you weren't here, but you have not left the house. Well, I'm on vacation from work. Oh, how convenient that you decided to take a vacation after our agreement. I'm about to conveniently pop you in your damn mouth if you don't watch it. I'm just saying, Genesis's feelings are on the line. Your life is also on the line. I'd be more concerned about that. Ma, how's my Christmas list coming along? I'm working on it. We'll work a little faster. I'm, I'm trying not to make Savon an only child. What did I miss over the weekend while I was out of town? Travis, please inform my mother that keeping dark secrets has consequences. What secret? He ain't got to inform me of shit. Hey, auntie, can I buy my friend Jessica over? She just lost her dad. I just want to comfort her a little bit. Mm. I guess you would be the perfect person for her to talk to since, you know, you don't have either parent in your life. Brian! What? Mama, I did not mean that in a malicious way. I was just saying she will be able to relate to him more because his mama is dead and her daddy just died. It's okay, auntie. His hemorrhoids must be sore. You know, you should really start using, um, what do you gay people use? Lube? That was corny. Not really. It's quite disgusting the way you let that young man slut you out behind school buildings, cafeterias, gym locker rooms, science labs. Whoa. You can't sneak him in, so you have to get it anywhere you can, I guess. Brian, you better light his ass up. And after he lights me up, let's talk about who he likes to watch take a shower and your obsession with your pillows and your mom's wigs, Kyrie. I will fuck you up. Save the fuck for your pillows because I am not interested. All right, that's enough. That That's enough. Y'all Y'all cut it out. Y'all doing too much. Yes, that's enough. I've heard enough. I don't know what Genesis has on either of you, but I know you both don't want me to know. And that's okay, because this little game of ours is now over. Not quite, because I know you don't want him to know what we know. Which is what? None of your damn tragic business at the moment, Genesis. Now, is it, Mama? Auntie, is, is there something you want to tell me? No. There isn't, baby. Brian, you can invite your friend over. We're beyond friends, but thank you, Mama. Kyrie, I'll start working on that Christmas list. Let it go. All the Christmas presents you want. All the Christmas presents you want. Fuck that Christmas list. Fuck. Aunt Gabriella ain't your fucking mama. Aunt Tanya is. Shit. Kyrie, what the fuck? <laughs> what? what? Type of fucked up shit your family on. All right, Ma. This is my Christmas list for this year. Now I know it's a lot, I know it's a lot, but, well damn. And did you fall and hit your head on something? Because what type of year have you had, Kyrie? <laughs> Ma, I'll be chilling. You're the one who'll be tripping. Your grades are trash. Your mouth is reckless. And your behavior is... Top tier. Out of control. Period. Period what, Brian? I'm just saying, Mama's right. You do have a bad attitude, Kyrie. Uh, watch this. Mama, did you ever meet that boy he be sneaking in the house? What the entire fuck? Watch your damn mouth, Brian. Ma. 
Did you forget that you told Brian to bring that boy and his parents over so you can tell them that their son has been sneaking in your house, messing around with your son? Ma, focus on him. He is trying to change the topic. And that situation is far from over. I haven't forgotten. But I'll deal with that later. You ain't getting shit for Christmas, but a damn Merry Christmas and maybe a Christmas dinner. You know what, Mama? You sure do judge me a lot. You call it judging. I call it parenting. Hmm. What about moral compass? What about it? You clearly don't have it. Neither do you. What the hell are you talking about, boy? I'm talking about Genesis and his biological mother. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Really, mama? Really? Really, mama? You know what? I am protecting his feelings. And how the hell did you find out about that, Kyrie? Come on, mama. You and your sisters don't know how to use y'all's inside voices. I'm sure the neighbors heard y'all arguing about it, too. So Genesis was adopted? Mm, not quite. Shut up, Kyrie. When you tape that paper back up that I gave you, that you crumbled up, then I might let my top lip meet my bottom. Oh, hey. I am not your brothers. I am your mama. You will not blackmail me. I will hurt you. Yes, that is very true. But the way I'm about to sing, a canary is no match for me. I'm about to run my mouth like water if you do not comply. Kyrie, who do you think I am? That holding shit over people's head? That don't work on me. I am your mother. I have kept you alive for 16 years and I will take you out. Ah, uh, Mama, come on. You ain't got to get all inspirational on me. Just give me what I asked for Christmas and we'll be okay. Your secret will be safe with me. I ain't getting you a damn thing, little boy. You out of your simple ass mind. Hmm. I wonder what state of mind Aunt Tanya was in when she decided to give Genesis up to Aunt Gabriella. Oh, wait a damn minute. Wait a... Oh, my God. Brian... I know how you feel about that boy, but you would not say a damn thing to that boy or I will. Let me see my new boyfriend in peace. Is is that what you'll do? Oh, y'all both got me fucked up. What, what do I look like? Am I not y'all's mama? I am not one of y'all. Y'all not finna handle me like that. I'm just saying, if that information were to get out from me and Kyrie, I think that boy would need a lifetime of therapy. Oh, yes, I agree. And he just lost his... Mother, which is not his real mother, he's going to be fucked up for life. But if you told him when you thought he was ready, then I think he'll be okay. You see, I think that is your information to tell, not ours. I guess what I'm trying to say is we will not tell Genesis anything if you keep us happy. This little gang, y'all want to play with me? will not end well for either one of you. No, well, it sounds like it doesn't end well for Genesis either. But it does not have to be that way, mama. Put your pride aside and give us what we want. Let me remind y'all that I gave birth to both of y'all with no pain medication. I am your creator. Challenging me would be very dangerous. All these little tricks and shit, y'all be playing against each other. I taught y'all that. So are y'all sure y'all want to do this? Are you? Okay. As much as I can shut this down right now, I'm not ready to tell that boy this secret. So I'll play along. Kyrie, go ahead and write me up another Christmas list. And Brian, do not have that boy in my house while I am here. When I am gone, then you can sneak him over. I hope y'all are prepared for what happens when all of this is over. Because eventually, I will tell him. And after I do... I'm coming for both of y'all hard because y'all got me fucked up. So I hope y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. <laughs> Where'd my pen go? Kyrie, I think we fucked up. Stop being a little bitch, Brian. Fuck. Find me a pen. <coughs> mm. Now that we're all gathered here today, I have some news I'd like to share. Well, before you do that, Mama, we all would just like to apologize to you. Who is we? Mama, we have been so selfish. 
And we completely forgot that you went through so much to keep a roof over our heads. Did she? You have done the best you could. And for that, we appreciate you. Ma, I don't know that much about cancer, but I know that we're all in this with you and we're gonna get through this. Oh, my babies. I love y'all. Now, Tamika, you said you had something you wanted to share. I went to mama's doctor the other day to, you know, find out what exactly was said because I had some questions, comments, and concerns. And, of course, he couldn't share anything because of doctor-patient confidentiality. But what he did say was that mama had lumps and they were all benign. Yeah. So, Mama, what was your goal here? Did you think you were going to get some sympathy from us? Let me get this straight. You went to Mama's doctor after she told us she had cancer? Yes. You have to be the most fucked up individual I have ever met, Tamika. What? Tamika, Mama is dying. And instead of you coming together with us, you want to be a hateful bitch and embarrass her? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. This must already be hard for mama, and here you go trying to make it worse for her. Sis, who hurt you? Who hurt her? Hmm. It could be the lies she has told us about mama's ex-husband Earl coming on to her, when really she was coming on to him. Now, Terry, I have let that go. I know, mama, but Tamika has put you through a lot. Tara, you're going to sit there and let this man who is married to an overweight, endangered species say that to me? Hey, my wife may be out of shape, but at least she's happy, unlike you. <laughs> when your husband is feeding you 10 to 15 meals a day and wiping your ass because you can't reach past your belly button, I'd be happy too. Really, Tamika? You are the oldest. And you need to be trying to figure out a way to make this easier for mama. But instead, you're over here arguing with Terry. What is happening right now? I believe your siblings are starting to see past your bullshit, Tamika. Now, I don't know who Benign is, but that bitch is lying. I have titty cancer. Ugh, it is an insult to people who actually have cancer. I hate that. I hate that you have to result this low for some damn sympathy, money, or whatever you're after. Prove it. Prove that you have cancer. Mama! <gasps> nice try, Mama. But you've always been bald-headed. Your hair has never been able to grow past an inch. Those naps have been there since Martin Luther King, not because of some fake-ass cancer. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mama is full of shit. And y'all know that. Well, that's right, Dad. I hope it brings you the peace you need, Tamika. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Asshole. Bitch. Miserable bitch. I am so disappointed in you, Tamika. Don't come around when something does happen to mama. And don't call us for updates. We're done with you. Consider yourself an only child. Travis, I need you and the boys to click 
And I've been thinking about ways to make that happen. So, a family trip to Six Flags might do the trick. We could try it. Okay. Boys! Good morning. Good morning from the three of us. Oh, so your brothers can't speak for themselves? No, I will be speaking for the three of us. Okay. Well, I'd like all of us to go on a family trip. Me and your mother were thinking about taking y'all to Six Flags. We thank you for the invitation, but we will have to politely decline. And why is that? Because, mother, we simply don't have the desire to go. Well, y'all don't have a damn choice. Y'all are going. Mom, did you forget that me and Kyrie are still in high school and can't afford to miss any school? I mean, it just started. This will be happening next weekend. <clears throat> <clears throat> next weekend, we will be at our father's house spending time with him and Karen. <sighs> hey, baby. It's okay. They'll come around eventually. You know what? Y'all are not going to your father's house next weekend. Y'all will be spending time with me and Travis. Mom, if you are forcing us to go, then we will. But as stated earlier, we do not have the desire to go. So we will be silent the entire trip. Get the door or get one of your other brothers to do it. <laughs> I'll get it. Why are y'all here? Trust me, I didn't want to come. Then why the fuck did you? Because Tara was driving. I had no choice. Well, you have one right now. Turn your ass around and leave the way you came in. Tamika, we haven't spoken to you in months. So fucking what? We have gone years without speaking. It didn't bother you then. You haven't even had the decency to call and check on mama. She hasn't been much of a decent mother, so why would I be a decent daughter? But you know what? <laughs> Humor me. How is your mother's health? The chemo appears to be working. And you know this because you've gone to each and every appointment with her and held her hand through the process, or that's just what she calls and tells that's you. That's what she calls and tells us, and I believe her. No okay. game. Tamika, stop. I am also here because Brian has been telling me that your little boyfriend, who is five years younger than you, has been really ugly to them. The boys have been disrespectful towards me and I made the mistake of arguing back with them. I'm not innocent, but I've already been addressed. Not that that was any of your business. My sister and her kids are my business. And my responsibility. So you and the other one can leave. My name is Tanya. Oh, I didn't ask what your name was. Tara, you and Tanya can get the hell out of my house now. You know what I will. I really only came to check on my nephews, you know, since you're out here choosing men over them. Better than me choosing men who choose my daughter every time. That was low. I can go lower if you'd like. <laughs> And for the record, I will never choose no damn man over my kids on any day of the week. They're just not used to seeing me with a man. No, they're used to seeing me yelling at them for every single fuck up they make. So don't you ever try to charge me up about what goes on in my damn house. I wasn't trying to charge you up. You couldn't, even if you had a damn plug. Now get out. Okay, because what did they think they was going to come up here and do? Right. We'll go to Six Flags. <laughs> Y'all had no choice in the matter. But I'm glad you came to your senses for your brothers.
Now get the fuck out of my kitchen. All three of y'all. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Janice, he is cheating on you. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? So you're the only one around here who can have a man? This ain't got nothing to do with my man. He give you good life? He give you good dick? Why would you leave? Why would you leave? Mama, Travis gotta go. Mama, that man didn't pick me up from school all week. I had to walk home. So why didn't you take the bus? That man did say you would say that. Mama, he called me a bum. Hmm. He told me he was gonna send me to a gay conversion camp. He gave me good life. Now that is where I draw the line. Travis. Yes, my queen. Brian just told me that you told him that you were going to send him to a gay conversion camp. What, would I leave? I did. What makes you think you can send my child anywhere? The thing is, baby, I was just choking. Brian was cussing me out because I told him to do his homework. As a matter of fact, all three of them are cussing me out. They were cussing you out. But I handled it. I handled it. I took care of it. So you don't have to do anything else. Do not joke about my son's sexuality ever again. I got gotcha. you. Now, boys, I know that y'all are not used to a man being in a house, especially one that tells y'all what to do. No, which is why he got to go. Well, he is not going anywhere anytime soon. I actually enjoy Travis, and this is my house. And I want him in my house. I have catered to everybody my entire life and have got nothing in return. It is time for me to do what makes me happy. And Travis makes me happy. Ma, this man is trying to force me to get a job. Savan, what is wrong with you having a job? You have a child. Do you expect me to pay child support for your son until he is 18? Yes, you're the grandmother. That's what you're supposed to do. Stupid. Stupid. You are. You better go to those interviews that he's scheduled or else. Or else what, mama? Or else I'll have my man escort you out of my house. And mama don't want to, but I will. I'm tired of taking care of you, Savon. Brian, your issue was that he tried to get you to do your homework, something that you are supposed to do. I'm not addressing that. Do you have any other questions, comments, or concerns? No. Okay. Kyrie. Man, look, I ain't walking home from school. Then get on the damn bus or ride a bicycle. Did you have any other issues with Travis? Yes. That's too damn bad. Travis is here to stay. And y'all need to learn how to coexist with him. He give me good life. Get out of my house, Janice. Why would I leave? Why would I leave?
Brian, your mama said she went that homework done before you go to bed. Travis, my mama did not say that weak ass shit. You just wanted a reason to come over here and threaten me. Right now, you're giving me a reason to ground your smart mouth having ass. On what grounds do you think you can confine me to my room? Oh, well, let's see. I, I pay the mortgage in this house. I'm taking care of everybody in this house. So, yeah, I can ground your little ass. Okay, you sprinkle change around the house. Big deal. It does not give you the power to open your mouth and speak to me. <laughs> Brian, do I look like the type of stepdad that's going to go back and forth with the stepson? No, I'm going to just call your mama. My homework will be done before I go to bed, Travis. 10-4, that's a good copy. Savon? Travis? I know you ain't got no job and shit, and you know, you, you, you broke and living off your mama and shit. So I took it upon myself to get you a couple interviews lined up at uh, 7-Eleven, Sefco, and Chevron. Are those gas stations? No, they're restaurants, dumbass. What do I look like working at a gas station? Oh, I don't know. A man with a job? I'm not working at no gas station. Then I'll get your mama to kick your big grown ass out the house. That's one less mouth I gotta feed. My mama ain't gonna kick me out. Oh, but just the right amount of dick, and I can get your mama to kick all three of y'all out. Keep playing with me. Yo, Travis, is there a reason you didn't come pick me up from school today? Curry, don't nobody gotta pick you up from school, boy. You ain't no damn kid. You're a teenager, capable of taking the bus and walking. Okay, bitch, and wait till my mama found out I had to walk home. And she's gonna ask you why you didn't take the bus, stupid. I'm done with this conversation. The last stray dog my mama brought up in here, me and my brother sent his ass back to the pound. You'll be next. Travis, all you have to offer my mama is back shots and money. <laughs> and all y'all have to offer y'all mama is a headache, a stroke, and some damn grandkids. I wonder which one of us she'll get rid of first. My mama ain't choosing no man over her kids, Travis. Oh, well, let's talk about the type of kids that Tamika Jackson has. Her oldest is a bum with a kid that she takes care of. Her middle child is gay, and that alone is a bit much. And her youngest child is the most disrespectful child on the planet. All three of y'all should have been swallowed. Wow. I can't wait to tell my mom the shit she said to us. And I can't wait to lay her down and make her forget. Now finish that homework, little motherfucker, before I send your ass to a gay conversion camp. Yo, Travis, don't get too comfortable in this house. You've only been here a month. Savon, I'm so comfortable. I ate y'all snacks in the pantry. I'm so comfortable. I'm going to talk to y'all mama about claiming all three of y'all on my taxes. You can't claim me. I'm 19. With no pot to piss in. Savon, you can't even claim yourself. Shut up. Who's next? I hate you. I hate you too. All three of y'all, as a matter of fact. Curry, if you got any homework, I suggest you start doing it now. I ain't doing shit. Curry, I will break your PS5. Do I look like a back and forth stepdaddy to you? Shut up! Savon, you will show up to these little interviews or you will no longer live here. Travis, I will beat your ass. I tell you what. I'm going to rip all the TVs in this house off the wall and break them if you say any other word besides yes, sir. Oh, there goes my queen right there. Hey, baby. Oh, no, no, no. I'm chilling. They good. They just sitting here getting on my nerves and shit. I got Brian and Kyrie doing their homework and Savon about to look for some jobs so he can get the fuck out. Mama, did you figure out when the baby and Versace can come over? Savon, leave me alone. I've been working and I've been tired. When I figure out a time and a date, you will be the first to know. Okay. Hey, Mama, I gotta talk to you about something. Brian, please, my nerves are bad right now. If you about to tell me you got somebody pregnant. No, no, no. It's not that, Mama. Um, I'm gay. God, what's the issue? We got beef or something? You got, like, you gave me an unwanted grandchild, and now, how do you know? How do you know? Have you ever been with a man? Like, how do you know? How do you know, Brian? I have a boyfriend. Shit! You know what? I have an idea. Mama, how about you meet the boyfriend when you meet Versace and the baby? <laughs> you ready to see, Grandma? Here you go, mama.
Is there a reason his diaper isn't changed? Wow, you're holding the baby and still talking shit. Bro, stop. No, because she's talking about our baby. And when did I sleep with the whole football team? That's what I want to know. And when did you have me removed from your premises? I'd like to see you do that again. You've been talking all this shit about how the baby isn't his. And Tamika, you put your hands on me, I swear you're going to jail. You put... put ah! Ma, stop! Ma! Now hand me his diaper bag. <laughs>